Good morning, Interboro. This is Mr. Johnston with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, where liberty and justice for all. Now stay tuned for this edition of Kaleidoscope. Good morning, Interboro, and welcome to the Friday edition of K-Scoop. I'm Carolyn. And I'm Reef with your morning announcements. Attention environmentalists, please come to 308 Miss Franza Hughes' room to pick up a permission form for our trip to the Kindergarten Academy on Wednesday, February 8th. We will leave IHS at 8.30 and re will return by 2.15. Listen up, seniors. Cap and gown measurements will be taken February 15th and 16th during lunches. The cost of your cap and gown is $25. Congratulations to Sage Fazizi, who was one of the jury selections last night in our second annual Delaware County High School Art Show. Club will be meeting on Monday, February 6th in room 228 at 2.30. We will discuss the next class trip, so please plan to attend and tell other club members. Ref refreshments will be served. Girls Lacrosse preseason will begin Monday, February 6th from 3.30 to 5 p.m at the administration building. Practices will be held Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays during the month of February. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Malinich in the TV studio. A very happy birthday to Brooklyn Bates. I hope you have a great day. Let's check into our Black History Month fact of the, of the day. Good morning. My name is Coach Lennox, and my selection for Outstanding Af African American for Black History Month is Rosa Parks. She refused to surrender her bus seat to a white passenger, sparing the Montgomery boycott and other efforts to end segregation. To me, she showed a lot of courage. Here's a short clip about Rosa Parks. December 1st, 1955. On that day, Rosa Parks boarded a bus and took a seat. A few stops later, she was told to give her seat to a white passenger who had just boarded. She refused. For those who insist that a moment be pinpointed when the American Revolution of 63 began, that moment will serve. When Rosa Parks decided to stay seated in December of 1955, I was two and a half years old. I know that what Rosa Parks did made a huge difference. The conventional wisdom about her is, oh, this was just a woman who got on the bus, she was tired, her feet hurt, she didn't want to get up. But that does not take into account her incredibly amazing political consciousness. She was part of a community of women activists at local colleges who were organizing to take on segregated buses. Rosa Parks sat down on the bus and began what we know today as American Civil Rights Movement. Rosa Parks actually galvanized a people for change. Rosa Parks had the discipline and the consciousness and the awareness to be able to be the person to represent African Americans who were trying to make a difference. And when Rosa Parks makes her stand, she became an icon for change. It's something that started with the spark from this woman that grew into a local bus boycott, that grew into a national consciousness. It made most Americans who care about liberty and justice realize that this way of life had to end. That's all the announcements we have for today. I hope you have a great weekend, Interboro.